Welcome back to the Civic Side TV News Show. I'm your host, Jake Krause. We've got some exciting news for you this week in the world of civic science. How do you communicate mental health strategies to young people? With a game, of course. Gamification in science communication is becoming increasingly common. Experts used an online game as a conversation starter to open up young people to a dialogue on mental health struggles during the COVID-19 pandemic. Users score points by deciding what restrictions would help mitigate the impacts of COVID on key areas. The dialogue model of science communication allows people to develop a list of coping strategies and ease conversations around mental health. Participants found conversations to be useful as a tool for self-reflection and also sharing insights with peers, more so than just sharing a list of coping strategies. These coping strategies were also shared with high school students in a short video and dialogue conversation. Good science communication is a social conversation about science, with the potential for games as a conversation starter. What do Americans think about science? An August 2023 YouGov survey found that 41% of Americans believe scientists care about the public's best interests, with 34% saying they sometimes care and just 14% saying they rarely or don't care. Although there is a divide between political parties, Democrats are twice as likely as Republicans to say scientists should take an active role in public policy and that they should have more influence in public policy debates. With respect to famous scientists, most Americans have favorable views of the ones that they are familiar with and believe they've had a positive impact on the world. Calling all artists, there is a science and arts festival in Malta over the summer called Science in the City. They're currently accepting project proposals from artists to creatively communicate a scientific research concept in collaboration with a scientist. There is a focus this year on justice, equity, diversity, and inclusion. There's a budget of 5,000 euros for installations, so be sure to apply to be part of the festival. Click the link in the description below for more information on how to get involved with Science in the City. That's all for this week's Civic Sci TV News Show. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you next week.